Hey you guys and welcome to Book Haul Monday where there's a book haul every Monday while supplies last. So I have a book for most of you guys at the end that is going to be like <laughs> crazy adult and stuff because I had a different book haul planned to put up this Monday but then that book came in and I'm supposed to give it to a friend afterwards <laughs> pretty soon so I wanted to film a book haul before then and the other one was an unboxing so I couldn't very well like do that so here we are I got some books last month or so from like thrift books to show you guys and some pre-orders uh, not that many because uh, yeah I've been trying to slow it down on the book buying amazingly enough but uh, let's go ahead and get started. The first book I have to show you is The Hobbit by J.R.L. Tolkien. And I got it from Thrift Books and it came in really bad condition. I mean, the, there was rips everywhere and just weird, like, dots. I mean, I needed a new beautiful copy because I gave away my old battered copy to somebody who really wanted to read it. Uh, but this is just like bad. I may still read it though before The Hobbit comes out, but I'm still going to be in a market for a new like copy of The Hobbit that I love. Um, so moving on to the next book that I got and it was The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. This one came in the condition as it was described in. So, so happy. Um, yeah, it's short. I originally listened to this on audiobook and I really liked it but the audiobook just took so long to listen to it was like five hours and like 30 minutes 45 minutes or whatever whatever it took longer than that time for me to listen to it because I had to rewind it sometimes even though I was enjoying it and I like Neil Gaiman's voice you know just audiobooks in general just make me no matter how much I like them like zone out I'm glad I finished the whole thing though um but I kind of want to just reread like reread it and when I do I just want to read the physical copy which will take me less than whatever time it took me to listen to that audiobook um but for those of you who don't know what the ocean at the end of the lane is it's just about this guy and he goes back to his childhood home and then there's this whole story that kind of brings you back to his childhood and then the next book that I got is Mr. Monday by Garth Nix and it is the first book in the Keys to the Kingdom series. Uh, it didn't come, it like had all these like kind of rips and tears and stuff and I, it was supposed to be like in like new condition and it wasn't. I was really disappointed. I actually have the first book like from when I was younger um, in paperback so that's why I'm just like moving on up in the thing because I wanted to get it into hardcover. They both look so beautiful um, and I also got the second book um, Grim Tuesday from there as well and as you can obviously this one came as a library copy so this one definitely I was like so complained about so it's like me and library copies are not a thing we are not together I definitely have to get a new copy of this book once again I'm on the lookout uh, but this series follows this boy called Arthur Pinnacle gone or grew or whatever and he is supposed to die an early death and but he's not supposed to become a hero but faith kind of intervening so as he's dying these beings from this other world sort of just kind of pop up and gave him this key that keeps him alive but then there's like this plague that sort of infestates his this art uh this his place and he goes into this world with inside this other world to try and defeat stuff and learn things and it's very very interesting and i loved it and i reread it like almost every year especially in time for like when the new books would release there are seven books yeah there are seven books and the first one's mr monday then we have like grim tuesday those are the only two that i had in hardcover and then we have a drowned wednesday uh sir thursday lady friday superior saturday and lord sunday and it was just like amazing series and i absolutely loved it i love garth nix and the world that he created and i like like they have like at the end of like all of them there was um a poem little so it says on the first day there was a mystery on the second day there was darkness on the third day there were pirates on the fourth day there was war on the fifth day there was fear on the sixth day there was sorcery on the seventh day there was a choice so it was really interesting. If you guys have like read this series, let me know because I haven't really met anyone who actually um, read it before. So 
there we go with that. And the next four are like pre-orders that I had, so I'm really excited for these. The first one is Mortal Gods by Kendar Blake. And even though I absolutely hate the cover change, I forgot to go get the other book that was first in here to show you guys. But I'll link the Goodreads down below so you guys can see it. And it's absolutely beautiful and it has like rays stuff, like it has like a feather in it and like this kind of pool and like dripping blood or whatever, whatever. It, it was really awesome. And then they gave me this, like what is this? And I think the paperback had like a matching cover to this one of the first one but I was like no I'm not okay with this cover change but I'm still gonna buy the book because I absolutely love the first book and I'm looking forward to reading the sequel and the first one is about this um it's called the goddess war series and all the gods are dying and and because of the dying part they're all scared and frustrated and trying to go trying to find a cure while going um to war with each other people are taking sides and then there's this muse kind of person from like the trojan war person i think uh she's like she could tell a future or whatever i know she has a specific name but i can't remember what it is right now and she kind of has apparently she may or may not have some answers as to what's going on as well so that's kind of in there and i really really enjoyed the first book and i'm looking forward to this um the second book that i have to show you is in the afterlight by alexandra bracken i've only read the darkest mind so far but uh and i read it so very long ago I <laughs> like so long ago that I don't think that even reading like catching up on it on the like just having like someone tell me everything is gonna work I need to physically reread the book and I and I plan to hopefully soon so I can get to it but this cover when you take it off it looks amazing although I was a little disappointed because you know the titles they make a thing it says the darkest minds never fade in the afterlight a thing uh but then she made like a novelette in time but it still went together so it was like the darkest minds in time never fade in the afterlight but then she made another novelette spark rises and it just it just didn't jive with me in the sentence form so it's like the darkest minds never fade the darkest minds in time never fade spark rises in the afterlight like yeah in the afterlight spark rises maybe eh. but anyway the first one follows <laughs> these kids like a plague or something had hit the world and most a lot of kids died or people in general but the kids that did survive had these powers and they like were they had like a color system from like what the government considered from bad to worse and most of the kids were put in this kind of concentration camp kind of thing and ruby was like what are the worst and yeah so there we go <coughs> from what I can remember the next book I'm so excited for and I'm so sorry that my Kindle broke because I meant to have read it and did a review of it because I got it actually on uh, NetGalley before <coughs> and I didn't and I'm shameful <coughs> and I know it but I had pre-ordered the book anyway because obviously I need like a hardcover copy and it is Killer Instinct by Jennifer Lynn Barnes and this is the second book in the Natural series which I absolutely flew through the first one and I can't wait to read uh, this one either. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. So the first book followed these kids. Well just in general the theme is they have these kids who have these natural abilities to like do stuff. So one person is like a human lie detector. Some people can like um they know, they're really good at knowing facts or just um being like a profiler or whatever and the FBI like finds kids like this and like hones their abilities even more so in the first book we follow this girl and she's getting introduced to like these cast of characters and they're like mystery of course and it was just so good and well and I absolutely positively I loved it and I don't think I'm gonna need to reread it in order to read this one although I feel like I want to reread it anyway but I'm really trying just to not do that right now so I can read other books. Um, there we go. Um, the next book, absolutely beautiful, okay? Um, lately I stopped just like opening the package right away for stuff or whatever so I got in this package and I was like, like I woke up, I got it like out outside, like from outside and then I kind of went back to sleep. Like I just threw the package like to the side and I woke up and I opened it and I was still like really tired but I like for like a solid minute 
when I got opened it, I was just like, oh my god, this is the best cover ever. Guys, look at you can feel. You know I love the raised. It's all raised. Like these scales are raised. The, the, the title is raised and it goes all the way around. And then when you take off the cover, just look at that beautiful, beautiful, beautifulness. And then, what? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's on the other end too. So it's like just back to back gorgeousness. And this is, of course, Talon by Julie Kagawa. And it's in this world where dragons were nearly hunted to extinction by this order uh, of dragon slayers so they kind of hid and like grew their numbers and they're ready I guess to kind of take over the world there or whatever I'm not really sure about that uh, exactly then there's these two kids who like I guess they're the only ones known about dragon kind and they are trained to infiltrate society and they kind of just want to live the experience of teen summers but then I don't know something happens and they're being hunted I think that's what it is and then they have and then this other the one of the follows one of the other people who is doing the hunting and of course secrets are gonna come out so it seems interesting and I'm really excited about this and so so sad so the last but not least, I have to show you, kids, if you don't want to, just, just general warning, is the hunted vagina. Yes, I said the hunted vagina. And this is a real book by Carlton Millick III. And he has like a bunch of other like crazy stories. It, it has a nice cover in the back though, yay! So, <laughs> story is like, I found this when, um someone shared it in my Facebook and then I shared it in my Facebook and my friends were like well two of my friends who don't read like they read sort of but you know it's not like the thing that they want to do for pleasure so much as like if they have other options and stuff uh but they're like you need to you're gonna get this book right and I'm like gonna get it what I just shared it because it was funny to think about but no they really wanted me to get it and I was like fine but I guess I'm not gonna read it I'll just give it to you guys like as a Christmas gift or whatever but then I was talking to Liz uh from E Lizzie Books uh Sarah from Mother Effin Books and Kayla from Caleb J. Ross and I'm gonna link all their channels down below and they have like this live show thing that happens every two weeks on Wednesday um and um you know you just get to talk and it's like a, they just put it on for an hour and then they take away the video or whatever and there and I mentioned that I was gonna buy this and they're just like but you have to read it and review it so I guess I'm going to have to do that it will be my first solo review for like some time I think because I haven't done solely a review video like just to review nothing talk about nothing else for like a long time so it shall return with the hunted vagina and I never told you guys what it was about because <laughs> so it follows this girl whose vagina is a gateway to the world of the dead yes words I say every day and anyway so her and she has a boyfriend who's wildly in love with her and their, their sex life has been suffering because he's been hearing weird noises come from there and she's like well my vagina is haunted and she doesn't think it's that big of a deal but he of course disagrees and it all comes to a head at night when one night some corpses living corpses climb out of her vagina okay and yeah and it is her her vagina is a doorway to another world so like he for some reason i don't know goes inside it to like explore and he meets another girl in there who he really like likes apparently and it's just i that is just a synopsis like what the heck is going on in this little 90 page book what what i can't even deal with the, the weirdness i just can't like i can't oh god this is gonna be one interesting review and yeah i'm gonna link down this author's um goodreads page if you guys want to go check out the titles of his other books they don't they don't really get any better um some of them are actually worse um so yeah that is the book haul that I have for <coughs> you guys. You guys let me know down below if you guys have read any of these books before and what you guys thought of them. Did you like them? Did you hate them? Do you now want to read some of them? Are you going to add them to your list especially? 
the keys to the kingdom series you thought i was gonna say the hunted vagina you don't really need to my benefit but i <laughs> if you guys do end up reading it let me know and i will see you guys later look they haven't fallen yet i'm so awesome awesome awesome